seafood tour of the west coast of Florida 2020 here we come we're just about to get in the car we're gonna head out we will see you guys on the west coast which will be in about three to four hours Alright guys, so here's the plan. We're out here in Cedar Key now. We're gonna try Duncan's on the golf right here. We're gonna get some appetizers and stuff. We're gonna try the uh, Thai chili grouper fingers. And then we're gonna go down, actually we're gonna go to the end down there, and that's where we end up having dinner. But we're gonna try the appetizer here first. So let's get inside and let's get this moving. Right, so the grouper fingers just got here. Let's give them a try. Get a big old fat one there. Put in some sweet chili sauce. Oh yeah. There's good stuff right here. Let me get more of that. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Alright guys, so we just had the grouper fingers. As you can tell, they were absolutely outstanding. Make sure Duncan's on the golf. If you're ever down here in Cedar Key, make sure to check them out. I'll leave something in the description below. And now we're here at 83 West and we're going to go in and get some dinner there. I'm not sure what we're going to get yet, but the hostess said we won't be disappointed, so we're counting on her. And now let's go check it out. Dip, dip, the, dip the bread in the sauce. It's a little crunchy right there. Thanks, you Perfect. Thank you. I'd enjoy. Thank you. Oh, that was good. All right, dip that in the sauce. It's really good. Oh, yeah, those are really good. Fresh, fresh clam. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, how's everything look? Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. So this is like a good smorgasbord to eat, right? This looks like the way to go. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Part two. Let's get at these scallops. <laughs> Put the light on so. now. Fork a half. Cedar Key scallops.
Respect. Bunch of little seasoning in there. Not bad. Not bad. Alrighty guys, we just tried everything. We're gonna finish up eating here. Everything is really, really good. And we will see you guys outside when we finish. So as you can see here, I said we're eating at 83 West, and 83 West is actually the downstairs right there. They're the same restaurant, but 29 North is the upstairs. It's a little more like high end. It has just a different menu. That's where we ended up eating, but we did have things on the menu from both restaurants. But yeah, highly recommend. Absolutely awesome meal. And yeah, that's all we have for you guys tonight. So we will be seeing you guys in the morning. Alrighty, good morning guys. So we are here in Steinhashy, Florida, and as you can see, we are at Fiddler's uh, Restaurant and Motel. And yeah, we're not really, we don't know much about it. We've seen it on the, the shellfish trail, so we're gonna go in and see what they have fresh for us today. So let's go ahead and get on inside. just got finished eating here at Fiddler's in Steinhatchy, Florida. Everything was really, really good. As I said earlier, I highly recommend. We're stuffed and happy and could not be happier with that meal. I will leave the, like, you know, the location and the name and everything down in the description below everywhere we eat on this trip. Now let's get in the car and let's get to our next spot because we got more places to explore.
So what's up guys, we are down here now in Crystal River, about an hour and a half south of Steinhatch where we were this morning. And yeah, we're here at the uh, fish house. And we're here because they're supposed to have really, really good stone crabs, best in the area. Stone crabs have been very scarce this season. A lot of places that usually have them do not. So we're gonna get inside and check it out. So let's get on in there and see what they got. just wrapped up eating it was very delicious as I was saying inside and yeah so that's that's gonna do it for our shellfish tour 2020 from Cedar Key up to Steinhatchee and then back down to Crystal River like I said earlier everything will be in the description below all the places we went to and they're really just cool spots to go and see even if you don't eat anywhere and you just drive through I highly recommend putting it on your list of just something to do when you're not doing anything especially if you live in the central Florida area and yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed.